Hello hockey fans, Joey and Lindsay back with you once again for another edition of the Ontario Rain Report. As the rain back here at Center Ice Arena in Ontario in preparation for this weekend's game on Friday against the Stockton Heat. But Lindsay, let's dive into this past weekend's action. The rain once again back out on the road. They pretty much spent this entire month of November out on the road and it was their first ever swing through the Midwest. They would see Iowa on Saturday, Rockford on Sunday, come away with big victories in both contests. But for the rain, it didn't come easy for them. They had to come through and fight with a little adversity. On Saturday's game, I thought that might be a turning point game for the Reign. They were down 4-2 going into the third period, were able to battle back, get three goals, but then they give up that late goal. 19 seconds left, goalie pulled, they give up that late goal, and then you start to think, ah, oh, this could be a little bit disheartening for this team. But they come back in the shootout, Lindback made some tremendous saves, and Backman with the game winner. So uh, I think they leave feeling that game a little bit like their game starting to turn in the right direction and they're making some progress. And then they would take on Rockford on Sunday, again having to overcome its adversity. It was a long bus ride, a little longer than they predicted to get from Des Moines, Iowa to Rockford, Illinois. And then it was an afternoon game on Sunday as well. But all guns a-blazing, TJ Hensick in front of a, almost a hometown crowd would net two goals. Johnny Brodzinski, another tally in the rain, a 3-1 win, so a full four points over the weekend. Well, I thought it was a great win considering the fact that that bus, hour, that, that bus ride was about five hours long and you think about the extended time going into the shootout on Saturday night, having to get on the bus and then coming back, like you said, TJ Hensick with two goals in that game. And then you kind of face a little bit of adversity again in the third period. Rockford with the goal in the first minute, start to think, could things kind of turn around the other way, but you get Brodzinski with that insurance goal, and then Lindbach too, can't say enough about his play in that game, able to make 31 saves on 32 shots for his best game of the season so far. So the rain grab a big four points over the weekend against Iowa and Rockford, and Lindsay, you kind of mentioned this was a breakout weekend for the rain. Who in your mind really stood out to kind of elevate the rain to this level? Well, I think Mike Amadio is starting to kind of turn that page so far this season. He scored his first goal of the season on Wednesday against the Rampage. I thought in a lot of the early games that he was a little bit lost out there on the ice, just weren't, wasn't really grabbing the attention. But against San Antonio, he had a shift where he started to get into things a little bit after the whistle, and then that next shift, he scores a goal. And then going into the weekend, he makes a great read on the forecheck, intercepts a breakout pass, feeds Adrian Kempe, who scores, and he's getting into those dirty areas. Uh, basically, both of his goals last weekend are ta tap-in goals. So, um, with Nick Dowd out of this lineup for this team, the center position has been uh, lacking a bit as far as production, and I think they need a lot more from Amadio going forward. Another player that's also buying into the system for head coach Mike Stuthers is veteran forward TJ Hensick. Had two goals against Rockford in the rain with five wins this season. He's got points in four of those five wins. What are you seeing out of a veteran that's coming in for a brand new team? Yeah, well, he's turned into a point-per-game player. He has 11 points in the, in the first 11 games, and I think he's the big catalyst on the power play. Seven of his 11 points have come on the man advantage, and he's able to really calm things down on that half wall and, and make some heads up passes. You said, you know, before we started this, that his goal on on Sunday's game on the power play was a pretty uh, pretty good one, a backhander. So um, I like TJ Hensick so far. I know a lot of people like to focus on the prospects for this team because they're the next ones to be the Kings, but there's no um, there's no shortchanging what TJ Hensick is bringing to this team so far. Now looking ahead for the Ontario Reign, they'll take on the Stockton Heat this coming Friday in Stockton Arena and then come back home to Citizens Business Bank Arena to start a lengthy homestand and it'll also start with the Stockton Heat this coming Wednesday. So Lindsay, it's a team that the Reign are chasing in the Pacific Division standings. First meetings of the season, these upcoming games against them. What are you seeing out of this squad? Well, I think it's a very good chance for the rain to really make up some ground just because Stockton is right ahead of them in the standings, but not really by much. They have a lot of uh, new players this year compared to a season ago. They're led by Mark Jankowski, a former first round pick. So the rain has to uh, have a big chance to, you know, go into their place on Friday, make a statement and then bring that energy back on Wednesday. Friday night, the puck drops between the rain and Stockton Heat, and then it all comes back to Citizens Business Bank Arena on Wednesday. Lindsay, thanks for joining us here for the Rain Report. Thanks, Joey.